Hello, this is US Geography Made Simple, and in this video, let's learn about the human and environmental geography of the Southeast region. As mentioned in the previous video, not only is the Southeast region diverse in physical geography, but it is also diverse in human geography. A big reason for this is due to the history of the Southeast. Before 1600, much of this region was dominated by Native Americans. These tribes included the Cherokee, Seminole, Natchez, and etc. Then, starting in the 1500s, explorers such as Juan Ponce de Leon started exploring and navigating the area. And in the 1600s, settlers from Europe began moving into the region. With these settlers, the slave trade started taking effect, and from the 17th century until the 19th century, more and more slaves were imported into the U.S. Now, on to demographics and ancestry. Perhaps most notably, African Americans make up a significant portion of the total population at about 30 to 35 percent. Additionally, a large Creole and Cajun population also thrives in this region, especially in Louisiana. And a lot of French and Spanish influence can be seen throughout the Southeast, which in short makes the Southeast one of the most culturally diverse places in the whole country. Environmental Geography Due to the Southeast's warm climate and fertile soil, the Southeast is an agricultural powerhouse. It leads the country in producing many crops, such as tobacco, cotton, and sweet potato. Furthermore, the Southeast region has an abundance of water in the form of ponds, lakes, and rivers, and leads the nation in aquaculture production. Did you know that the state of Mississippi produces over half of the nation's farm-raised catfish? And another example of environmental geography is that many towns and cities in the southeast have levees, which are used to prevent catastrophic flooding from the frequent number of hurricanes in that region. Lastly, if you ever plan to visit the southeast region, here are some top tourist destinations that you might want to check out. Everglades National Park, Great Smoky Mountains, Walt Disney World and Universal Studios, the French Quarter of New Orleans, Fort Sumter, Graceland, and Cape Canaveral are just a few of the top tourist destinations in this region. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you!